Libra, what's going on, Libra baby? Welcome back, Libra. Welcome back, those of you that's returning. And welcome if you are new and you tapping in for the first time. Libra, I'm so happy to have you here with me, baby. What you got going on, Libra? Happy Sunday. I hope you all have been enjoying your Sunday. I've definitely been enjoying mine. The weather is so beautiful today. Like, if y'all didn't get out today, y'all definitely missing out because it's so nice today. It's so nice. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's just beautiful. Yeah three of cups it's the perfect time to go out celebrate do something nice you know you could wear like a light jacket or a hoodie like it's really nice outside today all right y'all let's get into it this is for my sun moon venus rising and north node libras okay if you have libra in any of those placements then this message may definitely resonate with you take what resonates with you sugar snaps and leave the rest for somebody else out there libra you have been far too kind to me thank you guys so much for all the love and support the subscribes the likes the comments the shares the donations thank you for it all libra thank you for rocking and rolling with me thank you for supporting me in the channel Libra, you are amazing, amazing, amazing. Living my life like it's golden. 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 I'm hearing Jill Scott Golden. Libra, I'm hearing that you living your life like it's golden, golden. Living my life like it's golden, golden, golden. Golden, 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 living my life like it's golden. Yes, Libra, live your life like it's golden. Okay, we got the three of cups again, but this time it's in a reverse with the emperor reverse. Emperor reverse followed by the three of cups in a reverse. Ten of pentacles here in the upright, nine of pentacles here in the upright. God damn, Libra, what you got going on? Okay, there's an emperor in the reverse that could have been working together with multiple people that lied about something. This person is upset because their wishes is not being granted. This person could be getting some sort of bad karma. With the ace of swords reverse and the ace of wands reverse, this person did not see this judgment coming. Judgment day is here. Something here is happening quick, fast for you, Libra. You ain't gonna see this shit coming either. Congratulations. Somebody here trying to sneak attack you. Okay, I'm hearing that it's a thief in your energy that's trying to sneak attack you. Somebody here could also be trying to attack you that has released you somebody here doing spell work they in the ten of swords child let them do what they gonna do libra it ain't gonna work it's working on them somebody here could be a gemini virgo pisces aries they could have that in a chart okay take it as it resonates you could also have those placements in your chart libra whoever you are sugar snaps you going from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles i know that's fucking right and we got the sun card here you got clarity about a situation you happy you vibrating high the sun is shining you just chilling libra look how happy this little boy is on that horse that's you, Libra, just happy as hell with the sun shining on you. I'm hearing that God is shining his light on you. You've been smiling more often these days. And it's because you feel highly, you feel um blessed and highly favored. You feel like God has been shining his light on you, Libra. I know that's right. You got a lot of eyes on you right now. People are watching you, seeing how happy you are, how high you vibrating, how good you've been looking. Something about your skin as well, just super flawless, just beautiful. Somebody here feels like that's unfair fear that's unjust for you to be in this energy okay libra you got somebody wanting to come back towards you five of pentacles in the reverse somebody here that could be feeling left out in the cold in some way shape or form wants to come back to you wants to return to you but this is somebody that did y'all wrong this is somebody that y'all can't trust somebody here could be an aquarius a libra like you or a pisces okay somebody here angry okay somebody here could also be trying to send somebody to spy on you for them and report back to them what you got going on what you doing it's like yo if this person is reporting back to so and so they like yo libra cool Libra cooling. It's like, what? Libra cooling? Yeah, Libra cooling. Libra happy? Libra happy. Yo, Libra out there looking good, man. So somebody here definitely got somebody spying on you. This could be through social media, you know, maybe it's in the maybe it's in the physical, in the 3D, you know, maybe somebody actually pulling up on y'all. I don't know. Take it as it 
resonate, but somebody here definitely got somebody spying on y'all. This person could be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Pisces. They can have that in their chart. But somebody here could be reporting back to somebody like, yo, leave us straight. It's like, what? Leave us straight. There's an emperor in the reverse here that got somebody reporting back to you whether or not you good. You good, Libra. Yeah, you straight chilling. Somebody else want to know what the hell going on with you because they angry because they getting karma. Somebody here that came for you when you ain't do shit to them is upset because they getting karma and you happy. And then it's like they just keep attacking you. Like, it's like this person don't learn. They they a hothead. This person is losing a lot right now. With the four of wands in the reverse here and the five of wands, somebody here want to start drama with you. But it's like you ain't even start the drama to begin with. It's like a bully bullying you for no reason and then getting mad because they hurt themselves in the process you know, in the in the um, in the act of bullying you, somebody hurt themselves, and now they even more mad at you. It's like, yo, I ain't do shit. You know, you picking on me. So that's the energy for a lot of y'all, Libra. Like somebody here was doing some shit to you, and now they heartbroken because they getting karma. This person is stagnant. They stuck. Somebody here could be a Leo. Somebody here could be an Aries. Somebody here could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Somebody here could definitely be a fire sign or a water sign. But I'm telling you, somebody here is a masculine energy. If this is a woman in your life, Libra, then this person is definitely in a masculine energy. But for many of you, it's a man. Somebody here could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, or Aries. Okay, strong fire, strong water here. This person is heartbroken and upset because they're going through some sort of towel moment. But I'm telling you, whoever this is, you never did anything to this person. This person needs to realize that they just set themselves up or they allowed somebody to set them up. They allowed somebody to manipulate them. You know what I'm saying? Libra, you got the seven of wands here. You chilling, you setting healthy boundaries, protecting your peace, protecting your energy at all costs. You showing up as someone that's heavily protected. A lot of you could be seeing angel number 444. I'm also getting here that some of you could be seeing angel number 333. Some of you could have a Capricorn as well that you need to watch out for or an earth sign okay capricorn is earth could be a taurus or a virgo as well that you need to watch out for somebody here is doing the absolute most because they're codependent whoever this person is they don't want to cycle to close out with you libra okay this person could also be connected to a queen of swords in the reverse they could be connected to another libra gemini aquarius here but for some reason they don't want to cycle to close out with you it's like them and this karmic feminine is mad because their life is falling apart somebody here came for a whole high priestess a whole earth angel and shit is hitting the fan and they got the nerve to be mad at the high priestess the earth angel that's their fault you know what i'm saying Ain't nobody do nothing to these people that they did they did this shit themselves. They they bought this shit to themselves. Somebody here could even be thinking that you doing something, Libra. You ain't doing nothing but just straight chilling, living your life, connecting with the most high. This is what happens when you playing and shit and you doing it to certain people that you just can't really fuck with. You know, certain people just heavily protected. And Libra, I'm getting that you're one of those people that's just super fucking protected. Somebody here's learning that the hard way. We have the ace of cups in the reverse. Why is this ace of cups in the reverse? Okay. Oh, Libra, we got some jumpers. They falling on the floor, Libra. Okay, so we got the Ace of Cups and the Reverse the Knight of Cups. So it looks like somebody here wanted to express their feelings for you in some way. Yes, Libra, look what fell out on the floor. Knight of Cups fell out on the floor in the upright. They all was face forward, so I'm going to just take them. Knight of Cups in the upright and then the Six of Swords reverse and the Ten of Cups reverse. This may even be somebody at a distance from y'all. But somebody here is like trying to get to you, okay? Somebody here trying to get to you to express some sort of feelings for you. But this person feels like you don't want them. They feel like they missed out on the opportunity to be with you. This person could be viewing you as the one that got away. They're really pissed off about this. This person could be a Sagittarius for some of you. Or somebody here could have strong Sag in their chart. Somebody here feel like you getting away from them. And it's like they just want to sneak up on you or pop up on you. But this is somebody that y'all don't want to invest in, Libra, because you feel like there wouldn't be no equal give and take with you and this person. This person is very emotionally codependent on you. This is somebody that's angry. They're bitter. They've been talking shit about you as well. It's like they've been talking shit about you because you don't want to be with them because you don't want to give them another chance. And because you're doing good and they getting karma. This person is experiencing bad karma while you're doing really good you could be even being celebrated during this time and it's like somebody here is super angry super pressed about that right now you know somebody here could also be mad because you keep into yourself 
Some of you can um, be connected to a Virgo. You can have strong Virgo placements in your chart. Libra, you can have Virgo placements or you could even be on the cusp of Virgo Libra. But somebody here is mad because you've been staying to yourself, okay, while they going through shit. Yeah, it's like past people sending you the evil eye that's extremely fucking bitter, okay? They made up their mind that they want to destroy you in some way, but these people are only destroying themselves in the process of trying to destroy you. Heavy emphasis on trying because it's going to continue to be unsuccessful. Things are going to continue to backfire. Things are just going to get worse and worse for whoever is doing this, Libra. Because ain't shit about to pop off for real, for real. You too fucking protected. Like, understand that, Libra. Whoever this message resonates for, you guys are super duper protected. Like, super duper. <laughs> so you're good. You know what I'm saying? You're good. Like, somebody here just going to have to sit and sit, lay in the bed that they made. You know, you made your bed, now lay in it type shit. Like, somebody here angry with y'all. Like, you did something to them. You ain't do nothing to them. Like, motherfuckers need to just get over it. Like... You did something, you made some poor choices, and now, you know, you you feeling God's wrath. I'm hearing that somebody here about to feel God's wrath, or they could be currently experiencing that. Libra, whoever you are, you have a lot of wish fulfillment to look forward to. You could also be seeing angel number 111, 1111, but you're showing up as someone that's very loving, okay? Some of you could be in a relationship right now, too. You could be dating somebody, okay? Or you could be in a serious commitment. This is your wish fulfillment. This could even lead to marriage for some of you. Others of you, you could actually be engaged at this current moment in time. Some of you are even newlyweds. But I'm seeing that your heart is open to giving and receiving genuine, passionate, nurturing, mature, unconditional love. Some of you Libras, this is the first time you ever experienced real love. There's a lot of passion here between you and this person. I'm hearing that the sex is fire. I'm hearing that song by Kings of Leon. Whoa, <laughs> your sex is on fire. Okay, y'all remember that song by Kings of Leon? Your sex is on fire. It's called Sex on Fire by Kings of Leon. Check that out, Libra, if you don't know that song. But what are you doing if you don't know that song? That's classic shit right there. But I'm hearing Kings of Leon, Sex on Fire. Libra, I'm telling you, somebody got their eyes on you. Give me something on this page of swords for my Libra. It's sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North No Libra, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, somebody that y'all not talking to is watching you. Somebody here feel like you look good. Hell yeah, you looking good, Libra. Goddamn, you showing up as the Empress and Queen of Wands. Empress, pop out, okay? Pop out. I'm hearing some of y'all got your titties out. Like, Libra, what you what you doing? Some of y'all got a little cleavage showing. You got cleaving the twins out. The weather done got a little nice. You don't know how to act. You, you showing cleaving the twins, okay? We have the Queen of Wands and the Empress. You straight celebrating. You going out. You enjoying yourself. Libra, I know that's right. Shit, I be starting my days early. I be, you got to enjoy your life. You got to enjoy your days, Libra. You know what I'm saying? You have to enjoy yourself. A lot of y'all are going out, enjoying yourselves, looking good. Yeah, you looking good. Some of y'all could be going out with this new partner or this romance that you have in your life. Yeah. And it's like somebody else from the past is trying to sneak in and come back. It's like, absolutely not. This is somebody that y'all don't want to connect with. Libra, for many of you, you got something else going on that's very passionate, very, um, like, very pleasing, okay? Something about this person pleasing you and all this other good shit. Like, you got something beautiful going on here, Libra. And then you got somebody here that's a bully, somebody here that's unstable, um, non-committal, that is wanting to come towards you. Hell no, nah, that shit is, <laughs> that shit is clipped. Like, whoever this person is, they delusional to even think that you would give them another chance. This is somebody that y'all have absolutely no attraction for. Like, you're not attracted to this person in any way. And I don't mean that, like, just in a physical sense. I mean, energetically speaking, spiritually, there's no alignment. There's no real connection here between you and whoever this is. Um, this person needs to understand that this is over. We have the tower here in the upright. This means this shit is really over. This person could be depressed. And I don't really feel like they're depressed because things are really over between you and them. This person is more so depressed because something is going on in their life. This person could be feeling like they hitting rock bottom or some shit like that. That's why they depressed. And it's like they wanted to leech off of you in some way. Yeah, somebody's health could be suffering as well. Somebody here could be in poor health. This person could be a Taurus or a Leo. They could have Taurus or Leo placements in a chart for some of you. I just heard Virgo and 
we have Virgo right here. I knew it. I knew I heard Virgo. Yo, I heard Virgo and that shit came out right here. Somebody here could be a Leo, a Taurus, or a Virgo that y'all was dealing with. This person is going through some things. They're going through some challenges here. They're going through a tower moment. They're feeling bad right now. But it's not so much as, oh, I'm feeling bad because I'm in love with Libra. Libra don't want me. It's more so I'm feeling bad because shit is hitting a fan in my personal life. And I was hoping that, you know, I could, I could like, leech off a of Libra. Yeah, this person want to spin the block. with, And they, they such a low vibe, bro. Like... This is somebody that's vibing very low. And don't get me wrong, like Libra, at one point in time, you know, you have your days too, I'm sure. Like, you showing up as an empress right now. Libra, you know it take a lot to get to the empress energy. You know you had your low days. You know. You know what I'm saying? So we're not going to kick this person while they down. But I'm just saying, this is somebody that's vibrating super low. And it's like, whoever this is, they may be feeling like there's no way out. Like, this is somebody that has a very pessimistic outlook on life right now. They have a very pessimistic attitude, very negative attitude, whoever this person is. And it's like, yo, you can't be in that energy and then expect for things to get better in your life. It's like you're only going to attract more complications in your life by being super negative like this. This is somebody that just wanted to leech off for you. But you got a real emperor here that you are with. That's, this is what I'm saying. Like you out celebrating, you have somebody. Some of you could have actually met your person already. But we have the emperor and the empress. This is what you got going on here. And this Aquarius, this Leo, this Virgo, this Taurus, whoever the hell this is, this Scorpio, it's like this person is falling apart right now. This person is mad because they feel like you independent, you free, and they feel like their life is falling apart. They feel like they're in a fucked up situation. It's almost as if like this person just wants you to keep them company or this person wants you to be suffering just like them. Yeah, this person is under judgment. They get in heavy karma. This person is facing poverty or they feel like they are. They feel like they're about to. It's something here where this person feels left out in the cold. They feel like they up shit's creek. They without a paddle. You know, it's that type of energy like what the fuck am i gonna do like this person could have lost a job they could there's something's going on with their living situation their living arrangements like it's something here that's just hitting a fan in this person's life they showing up as the king of cups reverse the king of wands reverse so this is somebody that's you know they're not they listen whoever this person is this is karma okay i don't know what all this person did in their life what kind of karmic debt they have accumulated listen that's between them and god right we not like listen if it come out in a reading it come out if not then fine we not asking about their personal life libra you should know who this is for those of you that resonate with this message and maybe you know some things that they've done could be some things that they've done to you as well but whoever this is they've done a lot this person could be a water sign, could be a fire sign, could be a Taurus, a Virgo, whoever this is, they getting hella fucking karma. And this person feels like nobody's helping them or nobody's looking after them. Nobody's coming to save them. This person could be feeling ignored. It's like this person feels like a, a outcast. Okay, I'm hearing that they being casted away. Somebody here feels like an outcast, an outsider. They definitely feel like an outcast or an outsider when it comes to your life, Libra. This person is heavily burdened and weighed down. They feel like they have absolutely no access to you. Ten of Wands and a Ten of Swords. This person feels like life is just tearing them down, tearing them up. This person is feeling heavy right now. They drained. It's like, what the fuck, man? And this person is mad because you're super protected. It's like you in this peaceful bubble, okay? Like, even if this person was trying to send you negative energy in some way, it's like they know that it's not actually getting to you. They know that it's not actually affecting you. It's like you're in some sort of protective bubble, okay? You have boundaries set up. It's like a big wall of protection. I'm hearing fiery wall of protection, like, all right? Somebody here could have lit a doom candle, okay? Doing to my enemies. I just heard that. That's for somebody. But Libra, whoever you are, your road is open. Your pathway is clear. You get to move forward, Libra. You've accumulated good karma. And this person has accumulated bad karma. And this is just the way shit is playing out. Like, the, I don't know what exactly all this person want from you. Like, they want you to save them. But you can't save them. Libra, whoever you are, you getting justice. Exactly. Good karma. You on the right side of the wheel, Libra. You getting good karma. You getting dharma. Justice here in the upright. And your justice is for you to be happy with this emperor. Or if you are the emperor, Libra, my masculine Libras then your justice is for you to have your empress take it as it resonates but the emperor and the empress have come together or are coming together and this is your justice to have this peace 
peaceful, loving union. Yes, I'm telling you, some of y'all are going to elope. Like, congratulations in advance, Libra, and congratulations to those of you that's ahead of the timeline already and you're in this energy. You have just gotten married or proposed to. Congratulations, sweet pea. But this is your karmic justice to be happy, to be excited like this, to be living life like this. This person is stressed the fuck out because they're on the opposite side of the wheel. I'm telling you, they're on the opposite side of the wheel. This person is on the other side of the tracks. I'm telling you, and they feel like they have no place in your life. They was hoping that maybe, just maybe, they could connect with you. Or just maybe you could, you know, help them in some way. Or just maybe, just maybe. And it's like, it's a no. It's too late. It's nothing here left. Yeah, the world card. I'm telling you, the tower in the world. And then for some of you, Libra, this person feels even more foolish because they could have chose a third party over you. And they mad because that person can't do shit for them either. That's why they really mad. For some of y'all, it's like this person chose somebody that they thought was better than you or some shit like that. Or they was just too, like, they was just like, fuck it, I want to keep my options open, which is fine. You know what I'm saying? But it's like now they wish that they would have, like, invested in you because the person that they chose or the people that they was dealing with is not helping them in any way. This person feel like at least I know Libra would have helped me, you know? So look at that. But we got the Eight of Wands here. Some of y'all could actually be hearing from this person. This person could be actually taking it upon themselves to reach out. Yeah, that's the truth. Some of y'all actually going to hear from this person. This person could be wanting to communicate to you. This person may even be wanting to apologize to you. So I'm telling you, Libra, it's something that they did to you as well. I'm getting here that whatever this person is going through, this is karma that they've accumulated over time, over the years, okay? But this is also like something that they did to you as well. And they feeling bad about it. They feeling like a lot of what they're going through could have something to do with something that they did to you. And this person may be wanting to come forward, tell you some sort of truth, speak some sort of truth and apologize. And if that's the case, Libra, then accept the apology, but keep moving forward with your life. There's absolutely nothing that you can do for this person. You know, but send them a prayer, you know, wish them well, wish them healing, wish them peace. It's like, you know, like it is what it is. It's no hard feelings. Like if this person comes towards you, tell you some sort of truth, apologize. It's like, okay, I accept your apology, but you know, now you got to continue with your life. I'm going to continue with mine. Like it's, it's nothing else here to talk about. This person has grown obsessed with y'all though, Libra. They saying that they miss y'all. This person feel like a fool. I told you. Didn't I tell you this person feel like a fool? We got the fool in the reverse. They feel foolish. They feel like they did something selfishly. They did something too impulsive. They made the wrong decision. Ah, ah, ah. This person is fucking angry, okay? It's a fire sign or a water sign or a Virgo Taurus. Whoever this is, Shit, it could be any damn sign because we got Capricorn here again. But this person is just obsessive. This person could be obsessed with the fact that they feel like you're very abundant as well. Your emperor or your empress, whether you the masculine or feminine in this situation, Libra, your, your person could be very wealthy. Maybe you are also like on the rise for some of you. You could be coming into some sort of wealth for some of you as well. But it's like Libra. Come on now. This is beautiful. This is big. This is a this is a lot. Like you building with somebody, you building generational wealth with somebody. Y'all good. This is somebody that's protecting you, that's holding you down. And it's like this person could be doing spell work on y'all. That's another reason why their life could be falling apart. This person may even want to apologize because they feel guilty for spiritually attacking y'all. Like it's a whole bunch of shit that this person was doing behind the scenes. For some of you, Libra, I'm hearing that this is close to home because this person could actually be somebody in y'all family. And then for others of you, this is somebody that you actually share a child with that was doing this shit. Okay? This person could be a fire sign, a Capricorn Taurus, um, or a water sign. Okay? Whoever this is, man, shit, they could be any sign. Okay? I don't really have air. So they could be a water sign, a fire sign, or earth sign. They could have strong water, fire, and earth all in their chart. You know, whoever this is, they feel like you've, you've healed. This is somebody that you could have had an unhappy situation with at some point. Maybe some of you even had to get like a restraining order on this person. Like things could have really got ugly between you two. There could have been cops involved, law enforcement. Some of you even have documentation. This person got a history. They got a track record. Some of you could have even got an order protection against this person. You could have pressed charges on this person at some point. Like, whoever this is, they unhappy. And it's like, they still don't learn. This person is still on some bullshit. Like, with the five of swords, this is somebody that's still wanting to attack, still on some bullshit. But Libra, whoever you are, you stand in your ground. Queen of swords, resilient, powerful, ten toes down, 
standing on your own too, standing your ground. I think the confirmation, I think the fuck not. All this spell work and shit that these motherfuckers is doing, that shit getting sent right back. If they think they suffering now and they ain't seen nothing yet because it's just going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. God is not playing with this person. God is not playing with these people. Five of swords to the moon to the uh, devil here. Somebody here could be a Capricorn or a Pisces. They could have that in their chart. I don't think, I like, I don't understand why somebody here don't understand that if they feel in this way, if they're going through all of this, then what the fuck are they still doing? Like, why are you still playing in this shit? Why are you still attacking somebody? Especially if they not even doing nothing and you getting your ass whooped like this. That should tell you something. Like, yo, this person is protected for real. Like, that should tell you something. It would be one thing if you fighting back. Then it's like, okay, it's a war. But if you ain't doing shit and this person getting their ass tore up. That ain't nothing but spirit. That's God. That's the ancestors. That's some judgment angels on their ass. Like somebody here really need to open up their eyes and realize that their, their fight, their battle, their war that they raged against you actually has nothing to do with you. They actually fight and they actually fighting God. They're going against God. I've been saying this for months now. And this shit keeps coming out in y'all readings, people. Like somebody here needs to understand that their fight is not with you. They're going against God. They're not really going against you. Like, ain't shit really happening to you for real, for real. Somebody here really needs to understand that. Like, I've been saying this shit for the longest. It's like, for those of you that really be resonating with these messages, it's like, whoever this is, they just don't get it. Or they just don't want to accept that fact. Or maybe they don't, you know, they don't really believe in God. But my whole thing is, is if, if you believe in an evil then how is it that you don't believe in good, that you don't believe in God? We live in polarity. We live in a dual world. We have light, we have dark. We have good, we have evil, right? Like, we have the sun, we have the moon. Like, we literally live in a dual world, yin-yang energy. Like, we literally live in polarity. Like, this person may not understand that. They may not fully grasp that concept. Like, if you believe in evil, you believe in wicked shit, you should believe in the light. You should believe in God as well. Like, how you gonna believe in one and not the other? Come on now. Come on now. Like, that don't even make sense. Anyways, we have Sagittarius here in the reverse. Somebody here could definitely be a Sagittarius or a Leo. I'm telling you, somebody here a fire sign. This person getting their ass toe up from the flow up. I promise you. Because this is justice, Libra. Look at this shit. Justice came out again for you. Some of you could even have a legal case with this person. Like those of you that have children with this person, maybe y'all going through a custody battle. Some of you could be going through some sort of child support situation. Some of you are trying to get a divorce from this person. Things could be getting a little hectic, a little nasty between you two. It's like some of y'all actually got legal issues with this person. You can actually have a court case with this person. This person could be really mad because you actually won the court case. For those of you that have a court case with this person, you actually won, Libra. Yeah, you're showing up as the victor. You're showing up as the star. Some of you could have Aquarius or Cancer in your chart. Don't necessarily have to. But we have the justice, the star, and the chariot. Like, you literally moving forward. Something significant about angel number 777. I keep channeling 777333. Whoever I'm talking to, those are your numbers. Like, you may always, you could see a lot of angel numbers, Libra. You know, we be seeing all of them for real, for real. Those of us that's really in full alignment that's tapped in right but a lot of you libras y'all been seeing 777 11 11 111 333 like a lot of y'all been seeing those numbers you know seven is god's numbers okay peace to the number seven everybody else get the four nine three eleven all right who said that meth if you know you know shout out to method man huge fan that man just keep getting finer and finer he give keep keep, keep. that's a that's a man right there that just keep getting better with time Okay, he aging. What they what they say? You aging like fine wine. Like let them man is the shit. Okay, peace to the number seven. Everybody else get the four nine three eleven. <laughs> okay, like come on now, come with the math. But I'm telling you, seven God's number seven seven seven. Some of y'all seeing that angel number a lot. You could be seeing seven seventeen. Somebody here birthday could actually be in July. Somebody here. Um, and we have cancer energy right here. So somebody here could be a cancer or a Leo. They could be born in July. Maybe they on the cusp. Uh, somebody here could also be born like July 17th, okay? But somebody here is a, is a water sign. But whoever this is, this person's emotional. Like, 
this water sign, this cancer, this Leo, this Sag, whoever this is, this person is very emotional. This person can have strong water placements in HR. This person is very emotional right now, okay? Yeah, somebody here showing up as the empress in the reverse. Like, damn. It's like you always have a choice. This person is unhappy where they are. I'm telling you, they, they get in karma. I'm, I did not tell you, Libra, for some of you, this person chose somebody else and they mad because shit is not going well over there. This person got with somebody else, bro. They could have chosen an empress in the reverse for some of you, Libra. They chose a copycat, a doppelganger, a wannabe, a karmic distorted feminine. That's that's on them. That's not your fault. Yeah, will of fortune in the reverse. Like, yo, baby, if that's what you want to do, go ahead. I'm not going to try to persuade you to choose otherwise. I'm not going to try to force you, make you see my worth. A true empress never does that. It's like, yo... Go be happy. Go be great. If that's what you want, if that's who you want, yo, I wish y'all the best. And clearly, that's not what's happening right now. This person feel like the worst is happening. What's the what, what what's the worst that could happen? That shit is happening. Whatever they feel like the worst is, they feel like that shit is currently happening. This person is definitely unhappy. This person could be unhappy in their own skin. Whoever this empress in the reverse is, this person is very insecure. They're unhappy in their own skin. It's like both of these people are unhappy with themselves, unhappy with each other. But it's like, yo, you always have a choice. Like this person went exactly where they wanted to go. You always have a choice in the upright. This person chose up. Like you always have a choice. You went exactly where you wanted to go. That's not Libra's fault. Libra, you could be connecting to a Scorpio. Somebody here could be a Scorpio, okay? Somebody here could be a Virgo. They could be a Scorpio or a Virgo that's really depressed about their finances as well. This person could be trying to attack your finances. This is somebody that's upset because they realizing that, or maybe they not realizing this, okay? This could be a realization that they're about to come to, okay? But this could be an aha moment that they're about to have, okay? An epiphany. But I'm telling you, somebody here is going to realize that your money is connected to your energy, your vibration. Money is an energy. Currency is an energy. Somebody here is not doing the inner work. They're not healing. They're not growing. They're not evolving in any way. And there's their money is being affected. It's being impacted in a negative way as well. This person is like, they're not going to, then they're not going to see that. They haven't seen that. Or they're going to see it now in this next cycle. Libra, whoever you are, this person just going to have to accept the fact that you are with someone it's like you're with someone else or you're meeting someone else i told you it's gonna be a lot of passion in your life between you and somebody else i'm telling y'all i keep seeing that those of you that already connected with this person you know in your heart that this is the one for you you feel good about this confirmation others of you this is what's about to happen but this person is just gonna have to accept the fact that you in an equal give and take beautiful union a beautiful partnership here this person could have been trying to sacrifice you for some of you you could have found out about this Somebody here could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, Leo, Sagittarius that was behind this shit. Somebody here is mad because you found out that they tried to sacrifice you. This person felt like, you know, you wasn't supposed to ever find out. Like, how did you find that out? Libra, whoever you are, you getting a lot of good news. I told you, you on the right side of the wheel. You on the right side of karma. There's a lot of good news coming in for you, baby. Six of Wands. You could be celebrated during this time as well. Some of you may be influencers. You could be very popular. You could be receiving a lot of compliments right now. Some of you, if you work for somebody else, you could be getting a raise, an increase in your salary, okay? You could be getting rewarded. You just definitely being celebrated right now. Some of you that's in the public eye, everything is growing. Business is growing. You could be a content creator. You could have a lot of followers, subscribe, shares, likes, comments, like there's an influx. There's ev like everything is just coming in. It's growing at a rapid rate. Okay. Massive, um, like just abundance. Like I don't like, it's just, whew, it's a lot going on for you, Libra. Somebody here is like, what the fuck? Like, how is it that you keep getting these blessings? Libra, those of you that's single, it's the new love that's coming into your life. That's going to be the most, it's going to be the best love, the true love, the real love. Like I said, for some of you Libras, this is the first time that you've ever really experienced real love that wasn't codependent, okay? Where, where there was no codependency attached to it. Some of you could be connecting to an Aries. I mean, the emperor is Aries energy. So some of you, this person could actually be an Aries or they could have Aries 
Aries in a chart. Libra, you could also have Aries in your chart. Okay, I'm getting something significant about Scorpio, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer energy. Maybe some of you connecting with those signs. Take it as it resonates. Libra, you need to understand that this person that was codependent on you, that's still codependent on you and depressed, this person can't really do nothing to you. You're saved. God has called judgment in this situation, Libra. Okay, somebody here could be a Pisces or they could have Pisces in a chart. Libra, you could also have Pisces in your chart. But it says, no matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I am saved. Judgment has been called in this situation. You're good, Libra. Trust your intuition. You are a messenger. Speak your truth. Okay? Like, speak your truth, Libra. Some of you could be on center stage. You could have a public platform where you, you know, speak up or you use your voice in some way. Spirit is saying, keep doing that. You are a messenger. Speak your truth. It's helping other people. Trust your intuition, Libra. Your intuition is on point. You on point about a lot of things, you know? Stay grounded, stay 10 toes down, and just keep speaking out on whatever it is you've been speaking out on. Your ancestors are proud of you. And understand that the way others view you is none of your business, okay? Because these people are not living in their truth. And it's like you're triggering them. You're making them uncomfortable because you're someone that is unapologetically being you. And you're very happy doing so. You're very happy living your life and being you. Living my life like it's golden. And this is why you vibrating high and your money is increasing. It says my income is constantly increasing, Libra. The way others view you is none of your business and my income is constantly increasing. You obviously doing something right. Your numbers is going up. Tell them run the fucking check up. Straight like that. You G'd up from the feet up. Straight up. I'm telling you, Libra, you doing your thing, baby. You really doing your thing. Some of you need to make sure that you don't overwork yourself, which is so funny because I actually picked up a shift today and I told myself, I said, damn, like you really don't be resting. Like you be working nonstop for real, B. You be working nonstop. So some of y'all could be like me. You could always be working. Like you always doing something, even on your day off, you, you still working, you still doing something. Libra, take some time out to chill. Okay, baby. Don't burn yourself out. Definitely take some time out to chill, rest and rejuvenate. Maybe, you know, some of y'all could also be like, um, what is that? What is that called? Like some of y'all could be, um, I don't want to say pillow talking, but what, what, how they used to say that back in the day? You could be jonesing on the phone. <laughs> Remember when people used to say, oh, you jonesing? Y'all used to say that. We used to say that here in New York, wherever you from, maybe y'all said something else, but some of y'all could be jonesing on the phone or something, talking to your boo and shit. But you need to just chill, Libra, okay? Don't overwork yourself. Yeah, you showing up as an earth angel, a high priestess. Look at that. Temperance and a high priestess came out back to back. Some of you could be born October 14th, October 2nd, okay, October 5th. Some of you could be a light path number 5, 4, or 2. Something significant about those numbers as well, 5, 2, 4, 4, 2, 5. Okay, somebody here born in April, May, or February. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Pisces, a Gemini, okay, a Taurus, um, an Aquarius. Okay, yeah, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, or a Gemini. Some of you dealing with those signs. You could have those placements in your chart. Yeah, Libra, you get into your Ten of Cups. There's a Capricorn that's upset that was working against you. There's a Gemini that was working against you. There's a Taurus that was working against you. So Taurus, Gemini, and Capricorn upset. A Leo is upset. A Sagittarius upset. Somebody here is upset because their health is failing as well. Somebody here is in poor health. One of these people are in poor health. I keep getting that message. Somebody here is very mad about their health, okay? But Libra, like, I don't know. Like, what the fuck? Like, what, what are you supposed to do about any of this? Nothing. Like, this shit is not your problem. Like, it's so crazy how your read has been coming out lately. It's like, it's just, it's not even your energy. It's like energies of people that are thinking about you or wanting to reconnect with you in some way and can't. Like, they know that you've set boundaries and you ain't fucking with them. So it's just like, it ain't even like, not to say it ain't worth talking about, but it's like, okay like you know like i don't mean to be rude but it's just like okay like that's not really your energy libra like it's energies of other people around you like I, you know what i'm saying like it's like all right <laughs> like what the fuck like what like what do we do about that like I, you know like hope y'all understand what i'm saying libra you know what i'm saying like like what the fuck are we supposed to do with that information spirit like i guess <laughs> spirit just wants you to know you know what I'm saying? Like, God just wants you to know, like, what's going on in case you've been feeling like people tugging at your energy or you've been feeling like a little weird and shit like that. Or maybe some people are even trying to like, I'm getting here that some people could be trying to astral project to you in your dream state. So some of these people could be popping up in your dreams. 
okay but it's like yo like just back up like back the fuck up like leave it that's your energy you want motherfuckers to just back up give you space like yo give me space like back the fuck up Libra, let's pull some positive affirmations for you. Let's get some positive affirmations for my Libras. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no, Libra. Okay. Yo, Libra, you always pull this. Yo, you always pull eternal sensor. So I'm telling you, even though somebody here is like attacking you or trying to send you conflict and all this other bullshit, right? It's like you know how to find your, your eternal sense. You know how to find your calmness, your stillness, your balance, your peace within. You know how to get into that eternal sense of, okay? You know how to protect your peace, right? Yes, Libra. Some of you could be really into like um, yoga, meditation, or there's a need for you to start getting into meditation, okay? Libra, you need to start meditating, all right, baby, look at you. You a whole alchemist. Y'all part of my soul tribe. Yes, 39. Somebody here could be 39. Somebody here could be 40. Somebody here could be 20. Okay, some of you could be 25. Okay, 22, 23. Somebody here could be 44. Some of you could be 35. You could be between those ages. Some of you could be a life path number seven. Okay, a life path number two, three. Some of you could be seeing angel number 1212, 12, okay? Because we got 1212 12 right here. Some of you could be seeing 444. 4, 4. I keep getting those fours, all right? 44 here. Some of you could also be seeing angel number 888. That's your abundance as well. And that's also what goes around, comes around. That's the infinity symbol, all right? But yeah, some of y'all seeing 888, 818, 444, 1212, 777. Those are the numbers that we got, Libra. 777. Okay, 12, 12, 4, 4, 4, and 8, 8, 8, and 8, 18, okay, or 1, 18. Seeing a lot of 8s, a lot of 1s with the 8s, or just all 8s, all right? Some of you could be a life path number 8, all right? Yeah, we got 88 right here. I didn't even realize that. Yeah, some of y'all definitely seen a lot of 8s. Some of y'all could have been born in 88 as well. Um, somebody here definitely seeing a lot of fucking 8s. Um, but yeah, Libra, wow. This definitely resonates with me. But yeah, 444-888-818-1812-777. This is so funny that these numbers came out like this because those are the numbers I called out earlier. Didn't I tell you Libra number seven was significant? 777 and 444, that's God's number. That's your protection in 333. A lot of y'all seeing a lot of threes as well. Some of y'all could be born October 18th, October 3rd, October 4th, October 14th, October 12th. October 7th, October 17th, some of you born September 25th, okay, somebody here could have been born in 93 as well, 88, 92, 94, 74, okay, somebody here definitely was born in those years, um, but yeah, Libra, all right, those are the numbers that I'm seeing with your affirmations, now let's pull some fortune oracles for you, honey bun, Let's get some fortune oracles for my Libras. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, no Libra. Let's get some fortune oracles for my Libras. My Libras, my Libras, my Libras. Oh, Libra, I sound horrible, right? <laughs> That's all right, Libra. Don't shit on me. Let me be great, bro. Let me be great, sis. Don't shit on me, Libra. Don't come for me, dog. Let me be great, Libra. Oh, we got thorns. We got plane. We got thorns. I was on a plane with Dwayne. Somebody here name could be Dwayne. Some of you could be catching a flight somewhere. You could actually be boarding a plane. Okay, safe travels. Libra, where you going? You going on vacation, boo? I know I need a vacation. Shit, I deserve one. I deserve, okay? I deserve it, okay? I deserve it. I deserve it. I deserve it. All right, Libra, we got plain 26. Some of you could be born September 26. Again, you could be on a Virgo Libra cusp, which is what I said earlier. Some of y'all got strong Virgo placements or you a Virgo Libra cusp. Uh, some of you could be born October 13th, October 18th. I had said that earlier just now too. The same numbers keep coming out. Some of y'all could be seeing a lot of mirrored numbers as well. So you could be seeing like 41, 14, 31, 13. Um, 81, 18, numbers like that. Somebody here could have been born in 71, 81, 83, 84, 86, 87, okay? Again, with the sevens, we keep getting seven, 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 eight, eight, eight. Yo, three, three, three. 
I'm telling you, the same numbers keep coming out, Libra. It's so crazy. 444. Th those are the numbers that just keep coming out. 777 444 Okay? Like so many eights. 26 breaks down to an 8. 31 breaks down to that 4. 18 breaks down to that 9. Somebody here could be a life path number 9 or a 7. A life path number 4. Okay, a life path number eight. Like the same numbers just keep repeating. Yo, Libra, you are in full alignment. Like the synchronicities is off the chains, Libra. But you know that's how I go on this on this channel. You know that's how we vibe out, Libra. You know we tapped in, tapped in, Libra. We ain't about to tap out. Yeah, 39. It says the alchemist, empowerment, pain, sorceress. It says, Oh, I don't break that easy, not anymore. Instead, I use things as fuel. I love that for you, Libra. Let's check that out. Let's see what that's talking about number 39 it says oh i don't break that easy not anymore instead i use things as fuel the alchemist empowerment pain and sorceress 39 39 39 39 30 30 30 30 to 40 to 45 47 do 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 45 47 35 37 or whatever the fuck mike said what movie was that all about the Benjamins. Some of y'all could be seeing that movie, okay? Something about the Benjamins. It's all about the Benjis, Libra, okay? Get your fucking paper. But it says the alchemist, empowerment, pain, sorceress, and heart. Your affirmation with this card says, I like the spark of power and strength within my heart. All right, Libra, you caught that? I like the spark of power and strength within my heart. I know that's fucking right, okay? The hero's path, the gaining of strength. The path of empowerment, heartbreak, challenges, trauma, being underestimated, failure. Why should we let these things keep us down instead of seeking to use them as opportunities to overcome, to make ourselves proud, to strengthen our minds, to become a higher human and learn from them? This is the path of the hero. Instead of letting the darkness win, the hero chooses to pursue the ultimate alchemy, turning pain into power. Not everyone is capable of this level of sorcery. For some, pain is very great and penetrates the darkness to the core of their being. Only soul and stubborn persistence can undo a curse like that. But the power does indeed exist within all of us. A hero can still grieve, fall into darkness, give up, fall again, lose hope, seek help, or honor their natural emotions. The difference is that they don't stay there in that darkness. Why would they? What would come out of it? What good would that do the hero or anyone else? So they keep trying. They persist. They light up the darkness within their heart again, even if little by little, bit by bit. With the magic of faith and sometimes the aid of others, they choose to fight on for the light of the world, refusing to let the dark side win and become more powerful. This is how we change the world. Healing ourselves heals others, which heals the soul of the world. At the end of the day, finding meaning in what happens and having a purpose is unbelievable unbelievably empowering this is what fuels our power this is a love spell that we cast upon our own hearts it is healing there's a big difference between having self-compassion and endlessly feeling sorry for ourselves falling into the bottomless pit of victimhood victimhood yeah is to become the soul that is lost in the place where no light can reach no tree can grow your manifestation enhancer for this card says cast the spell of light and empowerment upon your own heart and the heart of another close your eyes place your hand on your heart take a deep breath and set the intention that a blessing of light faith and strength will prevail from a place of power optimism and love for yourself and the other person you have in mind cast this spell on someone who is struggling and could use some empowerment light activates more light then we have eternal sense of 25 it says there is a place within me still calm steady eternal guru protection and peace 25 let's see what that's talking about libra okay 25 25 something significant about when you was at the age of 25 okay so something significant could have happened when you was 25 years old some of y'all could actually be 25 some of y'all could be 52 but it says sanctuary guru peace protection and chaos your affirmation for this card says there is an eternal and loving sanctuary within me you got that libra there is an eternal loving sanctuary within me the sanctuary the oasis the peaceful valley the shire the shire excuse me <laughs> there's a place you can go the share, okay, the share. There's a place you can go, a place within you that is eternal, infinite, and still, no matter what is happening around you. When chaos and darkness surround you or entrap your mind, remember your center. 
This is the way of the warrior, the leader, the guru. This is how they keep their composure, returning and remaining in this steady core. This innermost center is at all times connected with the everything, the all, the great spirit. To every star and every seed, our eternal home lies within us. We can always access this point, especially through the power of our breathing, our spiritual practices, and the steady cultivation of peace. This is the, this is the card of the guru we all have within. The eternal sense of card has an energy of never-ending light that shines within the darkness. It is the crystal amulet that glows brightly when you are lost in the cave. It is the deep inner knowledge that no matter what, everything is going to be okay. The feeling of home, deep and far within your being. We all have an inner guru and spiritual sage. Call upon them when you need them most. Summon their forces of wisdom, grace, and peace. You may be a human now, but you have been a soul for much, much longer. Okay? Ooh, Libra. It says, can't you feel that in times of desperation or disgrace, remember this sacred truth. This card can also be a positive affirmation. You have done much spiritual and psychological work that has led to or will soon lead to a steady sense of peace within you. No matter the chaos surrounding you, a steady sense will remain. You will remain at that center. So this speaks of you just having the ability to protect your peace like no other Libra. Even through all the spiritual attacks, it's like you could sleep like a baby through a storm Libra you have the shield of God on you you have the protection of Christ the shield of Christ you are covered you are cloaked you are blessed Libra you are highly favored don't you ever forget that all right it says create practices and daily routines in your life that bring you back to your center prayer meditation chanting yoga dancing exercise creating it doesn't have to be something traditional it can be something unique if it works for you research the philosophies biographies and teachers of gurus find out what they know or rather what they have remembered libra you know how to get to your eternal center it's a very beautiful peaceful space for you libra i love that for you guru protection and peace eternal center all right no matter what's going on outside of you you comfortable you good that's somebody that has mastered themselves libra this is why you showing up as somebody that has the skill the the sorcery of alchemy the alchemist libra everybody don't have that skill everybody don't have that level of sorcery like the fact that you able to just be grounded the way you are you're very balanced you're very grounded libra is admirable it's definitely something to admire then we got 12 you got this card the other day i believe it says if you're in need of a lesson there is wisdom in the trees. Some of you could be going out in nature. You know, it's starting to get nicer outside, Libra. This is the perfect weather, the perfect time for you to go out in nature, get you a little picnic blanket, sit under a tree, you know, put your feet in some clean grass, some soil, connect with the trees, Libra. Okay, it says spirit of the tree, nature, priestess, and inner peace. Your messages keep talking about your inner peace, Libra. I feel like whoever I'm talking to that resonates with these messages, you guys have so much inner peace. It's insane. You have mastered yourself so much that you have all this inner peace no matter what's going on outside of you. Like for me, for instance, Libra, y'all know, sometimes I get on here, I be getting attacked while I'm giving y'all the messages. Like right now, I don't know if it's going to be picking up on camera or not, but y'all could probably let me know. But there's a lot of commotion. There's bumping. There's this. There's that. You know, people want to distract you. The devil want to distract you. The devil and his minions want to distract you. But I'm somebody that can't really get distracted. Once I'm tapped in, once I'm given a message, I'm fully loaded. I'm fully equipped. I'm all the way fucking tapped in. Ain't nothing going to stop me. Ain't nothing going to distract me. So that's why I just be giving y'all a heads up to let y'all know like A, B, C, and D is happening right now. But we tap the fuck in. We going to get to it. We going to get the message out. But that's what the fuck really be going on for some of y'all as well. It's like Libra you may be a messenger as well and it could just be like minor distractions in the background you know what i'm saying like the devil just trying to throw you off your path and block you and stop you but libra you 10 toes down so you can't be defeated i'm hearing that you undefeated you unstoppable you unfucking touchable god don't play about you libra tap the fuck in you know what i'm saying but we got spirit of the tree nature priestess and inner peace you a high priestess libra you a high priest a high priestess yo i be talking to some powerful beings i know 
know I do. That's why when the trolls be commenting and shit like that, I be like, yo, half the time I don't even answer them. I just be like blocking them and shit. Because it's like, yo, this channel, I'm connected with real fucking emperors and empresses. I'm connecting with real divine beings, star seeds. I'm connecting with chosen ones, alchemists. I'm connecting with high priests, high priestesses, seers, hermits, hermitess. Like I'm connecting with the real ones, the medicine men and women, the root workers. Like those are the people I'm connecting with, Libra. Yes, y'all know. If you know, you know. Nature priestess, ancient wisdom, inner peace. Yeah, Libra, you got sacred knowledge and ancient wisdom. Your affirmation says, I am turning into stillness, peace, and ancient wisdom. You got that, Libra? I am turning into stillness, peace, and ancient wisdom. If you have pulled this card, you are being guided to deeply connect and vibrate with the energy of nature at this time. It has much to teach you, especially the spirit of trees. If you can be still, present, and quiet, and listen only then will you understand all that it has to show you an intelligence that has existed for millions of years the power of deep breaths ancient knowledge and pure presence the wisdom of the tree invites you to view abundance and existence in a whole new way very different from the human way it can teach you that you too can bear fruit and flowers gently and gracefully you don't need to push or force things so hard our best work and flow come from a state of ease and contentment, not stress and hurry. This card can also be an omen that you are cultivated inner peace and wisdom. Your soul has been seeking deep rest and a break from society. Listen to that. It's okay to take a break from it all. A priestess of nature must have time and spiritual solitude to connect with the forces unseen. As a vessel of spirit, there is where she draws her power from. There is a clean and steady stream that flows right beside you. Will you take a drink from these life-giving waters? They hold ancient secrets and can purify you Ooh, when you most need it, especially when your hands are dirty. Nature can help cleanse your soul after too much focus on city life or um, ego desires, okay? Trees have been here since the dawn of the earth, whereas hum humanity has only just arrived and seeks to conquer. We must remember our place alongside the trees. They are the wise and ancient ones. They are intelligent in ways that are far beyond us, different from us. They are vital in sustaining life. We could not go on without them, but life would go on without us. Your manifestation enhancer says, sit or lie beside a tree spirit. Meditate beneath it and graciously ask for a vision vision or insight. Be patient. Thank it for the beauty and precious oxygen it provides. Communicate with it, touch it, feel it, and embody its energy. If you can, have a picnic outdoors, take in a book, journal, or drawing pad. Bring that energy back with you into your life and bear fruit effortlessly. All right, Libra, I love that. Your next card is energy. It says, call your energy back to you, 44 power or a depletion okay somebody want to deplete you of your energy libra it's some past people that's upset that's bitter that's angry because you went in they getting karma i'm telling you these people want to drain you of your energy libra get into the habit of calling your energy back to you okay you you know how to do that libra all you got to do is say it all you got to do is speak it y'all alchemists y'all high priests y'all high priestesses y'all root workers like y'all really powerful as fuck y'all star seeds y'all earth angels like you literally have the uh, the power to just speak some shit out like all you got to do is say yo i call my energy back to me bring my energy back to me i stand in my power i call my energy and power back to me like libra get in the habit of doing that shit all right but it says energy power or a depletion fatigue your affirmation says i am calling my energy and power back to me straight like that it says it right here libra i am calling my energy and power back to me that's your affirmation it says the garden the nature witch she who blooms giving yourself the chance to flourish means allowing yourself that energy this card is a sign that it would be empowering for you to access where you have been channeling your energy to to what to whom and how much you may feel scattered or fatigued are you placing your focus on too many things people or problems at once you may not have enough power to fuel the things you actually want you could also be drained from worrying about petty or insignificant things 
Tend to your personal energy and become conscious of where that energy is going. It's time to nourish yourself so your desires have the chance to blossom. You can only attract butterflies, which are blessings if you have the flowers to do so. Be the garden that draws in the life you are worthy of. The energy card is a sign to call your energy back to your soul, life, dreams, and core values. You cannot give to others if you cannot give to yourself. You will not be helpful to yourself or anybody else. A weak energy field can lead to a weakened existence. Your energy is your power. Many coaches have long held beliefs about the metaphysical nature of our soul, auric fields, energy centers, and chakras, often accompanied by practices to help us re wait, revify, okay? <laughs> revify, cleanse, and align ourselves, okay? Yes, revify. I like that word. When this soul core of ours is off, misaligned or depleted, things seem off. You can get all the sleep your body needs, but you're still tired because it's on an energetic level. Your manifestation enhancer says right now in the morning or before you go to sleep, meditate and literally call your energy back to you. Imagine it as several cords of golden light that are attached and fueling other people, places, or things. Remember, this is your energy. You are in control of it. It came from you and it can return to you. Visualize it, call upon it, and breathe it back into your being. Feel the light returning to you. Feel your cells being nourished. Repeat this process intuitively. And then your last affirmation, Libra, we got the forbidden forest. It says, you are so brave to keep going the way you do. Bravery, persistence, and redemption. Libra, didn't I tell you that you resilient, you unstoppable? It's like no matter what you go through, with, no matter what challenges you face, it's like you get through that obstacle course you a warrior you a go-getter you know that this shit is not a race it's a marathon it's like you are not giving up you refuse to give up you refuse to give up on yourself you refuse to lose libra i'm hearing that you're not gonna let god down you're not gonna let yourself down you know god has a special purpose and mission for you libra it says the forbidden forest bravery persistence redemption and, res and resurrection your affirmation says i am healing and redeeming the lost parts of my soul Oh, Libra, you got that? I am healing and redeeming the lost parts of my soul. It says the brave one, she who persists, even when her heart is aching and she can and she feels she cannot make it through this day. She has traveled long and deep and grown tired and rightfully so in that dark and forbidden forest. The place it is said where you might not survive. The place they say that if you go to, you must return to it again to retrieve your soul. This card represents the hero who chooses to continue on their journey libra this is the second card that you got that's saying that you're a hero the other card you had said you cho you choose in the path of the hero the alchemist cards say that you are on a hero's path and this card also speaks of you being a brave one you being a hero okay it says this card represents the hero who chooses to continue on their journey not half-heartedly but with devotion and reverence that part of the journey that nearly causes you to lose your soul or something essential to your being for good and then having to return to revive it. Doing the same hard thing not once but twice is not easy to do. Even if it's just reimagining it, excuse me, even if it is just reimagining re it in our head and heart, it still activates the same old wounds, pain, and stories. The brave one recognizes that to go on as her fullest and highest self, she must return to the forbidden forest to retrieve and resurrect her soul. This means facing a dragon, taming it, and eventually befriending it. If she does this successfully, she will unlock greater power, magic, and healing within. It will be a redemption and become a significant point in her journey. Pulling the forbidden forest card can be a positive affirmation that you are in the active process of this journey, that you are indeed being brave like the hero. You you are earning the inner and outer gifts you so rightfully deserve. Alternatively, this card can be a sign that you may need to return to the Forbidden Forest to heal, retrieve, or resurrect something of yours. Is there anything you have been suppressing or resisting? You may be at a point where it's time. Even if you need to ask others for help, that is brave too. Every hero needs an ally. Your manifestation enhancer for this card says, 
This may be a good time to do a journal session, self-guided meditation with instrumental music in the background, or even seek counsel with a loved one or therapist if you feel called to. Imagine returning to the forbidden forest to retrieve and heal a lost piece of yourself. Visualize it in detail. Walking through the woods, what do you find there? A messenger, a wound, your soul, a memory, your higher self? Allow your inner visions to manifest through you. Ask your spirit guides or ancestors for insight. Yes, Libra, y'all know I'm big on that. Always connect with your ancestors. They got the answers, all right? Father God got the answers. Your angels got the answers. That's what they're here for. Your guardian angels, the archangels, they all have the answers. That's what they're here for to assist you on your journey, Libra. Connect with them. But we have plane 26. It says a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Libra, your life is becoming very full. You see how many times we put that 10 of pentacles and that four wands? Like, congratulations, Libra. Your life is becoming full welcome to the soft life abundance is your birthright okay you are going on a journey whether physically or metaphorically either way you traveling you soaring you reaching new levels you going new heights libra okay thorns 31 it says whether in the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future so yeah libra you've gone through many challenges some of y'all could still be going through a little bit of challenges right now but spirit is saying that you weathering these challenges weathering this storm is going to push you into a new and positive future libra okay you soaring high we fly high, no lie, and you know this, balling, Libra, some of y'all about to be balling, okay, you flying high, no lie, okay, and motherfuckers know this, that's why they attacking you and shit, but we got lovers, it says there are two paths ahead, be true to yourself, yeah, Libra, you gonna have choices, some of y'all gonna have a lot of choices in love too, be true to yourself, don't go backwards, Libra, don't get got, don't repeat a karmic cycle, don't block your blessings, Libra, because somebody here wanna come in and help Help you lose everything. This motherfucker feel like they ain't got shit to lose and they want to help you lose everything. So be careful, Libra. Don't go backwards. But we got seven cracker. It says positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune away. I love that. Libra, you be pulling this card a lot. All right. Yes, Libra. I love you, baby. I love you, Libra. Happy Sunday. I hope you enjoyed this message. I'm going to talk to you soon, Pudding. Peace.